Everybody, hello, hello, and welcome back to my stream. It is crim it is the Assassin's Creed Day, and it's a exciting one, is that? Um I hope you all have had a great weekend and have uh had a decent start to your week. And if not, hopefully it gets better. Uh give me just a second while I clean the schmutz off of my glasses. Um, the, uh, let's see here. Do I have any announcements while I'm doing this? Um, I don't think I have anything to announce that's important. Um, we'll be, this week should be a normal week, you know, what it is. Uh, yes, queen, I did. Uh, ooh, you went to Michigan. Hey, nice, nice, nice. 
And I did have a decent weekend. Uh, thanks for asking, Queen. Uh, we have the Queen in my Discord chat, in my private Discord DMs, uh, asking and like to keep track uh, to converse with me. Um, trying to think if I have any announcements. Uh, just the usual, I guess. Uh, so if you go to the link tree, you'll find links to all my socials, my YouTube, where all you can play, all the places you can find me. Also in the uh, also in the link tree, you'll find a link to my Patreon, where if you go to my Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, K-R-I-M-Z-O-N-K-N-I-G-H-T, just like it's displayed on screen, uh, you will be able to... Uh, support me directly, uh, much more directly than you could through uh, through than you could do through Twitch. Uh, it's not a requirement. It's not. Uh, there, all my content is still free. Um, there's no paywall. It's not like you if you get to my uh, get to my uh, subscribe to my Patreon, you'll get uh, anything special at the moment. Uh, and if we get enough Patreon subscribers, though, I might start doing. Uh, some extra stuff like uh, you'll have uh, the Patreon supporters will have first say on what I play next when I finish a game uh, they'll also have uh, a direct line to me to with subs uh, suggestions or requests if they have any uh, that they would like me anything they would like me to change or do special um, things like that uh, there's also uh, if we get enough uh, interested parties, we might do some TTRPG stuff with the patrons and things like that. Um, but for the moment, uh, all you get is a uh, thank you card in the at the end of my stream. Uh, there's only one tier currently, which is just a dollar a month. Um, it's not much, but it, uh, every little bit helps, you know. But uh, and if you don't, if you don't, can't afford that, or you don't want to spend the money on that, I perfectly understand. Like I'm perfectly fine with that. It's completely just an extra thing, optional entirely. I appreciate you all, no matter what, and I will still do my, I will do my best to continue to deliver free uh, content to you to the best of my ability. Anyway, uh. Let's get started. What do you guys? Uh, yeah, let's get let's let's be cheeky and get a little started in here. All right. So I did a little bit, not much, just a little bit of running around in the numskull save file, just a little bit. Um. <coughs> uh. Did some. Uh. Let's see here. Did some crafting. Uh, did some crafting, some hunting. Uh, so as you can see here, we have some things that I didn't have before. I'd only had these two upgrades before. Now I have the smoke bomb pouch one, pistol ammo pouch one, air uh, air rifle darts pouch one, sleep dart efficiency one, and that's it from there. I uh, did some upgrading for the Morgan. Uh, she's now a little bit stronger. Um, a little bit stronger um i did a little bit of appearance hunting but you know like it's just like whatever you know uh and i didn't really get anything like extraordinarily new uh i unlocked these through fleet missions <coughs> which are not storyline stuff just that extra like stuff with the shay's fleet and stuff uh, which are on par with the Edward pistols. So the Admiral's Lion pistols are the ones that I'm going to be using for now. Uh, I'm still using the uh, Ye Old Katana uh, for the time being. I've also unlocked the Explorer outfit and the Raider outfit. Look at him with his little hat, looking all spiffy. But, um... And the Explorer outfit is just kind of like a color swap of the interim outfit. <clears throat> so like, instead of black, it's gray or charcoal. I'm not sure which. Uh, and instead of red accents, it's blue. They have, he has the ropes and some extra stuff in there like that. But uh, yeah, continue to stick with the interim outfit we are. 
Okay. I also did. I also ran around and did some uh, <coughs> renovations and explorations. Uh, I went up here and explored um, in. Uh, oh God, which dist King's Farm district? Uh, and I did some. Ex I did the some uh, collecting and exploring in the Greenwich Greenwich uh, district borough, whatever. Um, and then I also did some down in Lower Manhattan as well. I have not yet touched, come on. I have not yet touched Eastport or uh, whatever that's called or East Vi or the East Village. I have not yet touched any of those, but uh, yeah, I have, however, I've not done any, I haven't done much in the uh, River Valley, but I have done some in the North Atlantic. As you can see here, uh, I did some, I did, I've done some completionism stuff around here. Now, something that I have discovered that I'd forgotten about is, so because he's not an assassin anymore, he doesn't have assassin, assassinations anymore. So in the previous games there, like you would go to those pigeon carry, a pigeon holds and you'd take a pigeon out that had a message for you that was an assassination target. Uh, you still have that in these, but because he's not an assassin, he can't get them from the bureau and stuff. So uh, we're going to be doing some of these uh, assassination, uh, assassin inter interceptions as I find them, as I see them. Um... Your local <clears throat> so let's go do this one first, warm up with it. Sir, please turn around. Thank you. And shank. Shank you very much. <laughs> mena, mena. This way. Capture the pigeon. Pigeon! 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 <laughs> All right. I always side with you, little. Far preferably. All right, have to defend this guy. That's the button I wanted, but it works. All right.
there. Over here. Oh, not that way, Shay. <clears throat> All right, gotta get back, gotta get back, gotta get back, gotta get back. Back, 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 back. So that completed there. Now there is another one up here somewhere, but it may not be available yet. I don't remember. I thought I saw it earlier, but. Uh, let me check something. Come here. Uh, progress tracker. Okay, so apparently it's just not available yet, which is fine um, because I know of at least one other that's out here in the North Atlantic. Uh, it's right here. Um, so let's go grab that, shall we? And then we'll resume the uh, main storyline. Oh, excuse me. Oh, there's a renovation here, too. Look at that. I'll go ahead and grab that while I'm here. I'm waiting for your instructions, sir. Assuming I'm able to. Oh, nope, I can't. Okay. Fine with me. We're ready and willing to do Ooh, there's a tavern. Let's go free this tavern. I don't think I've done a tavern freeing on the show, on the, on the show, on the stream before yet in this game i did a i did a couple in three and four but i don't think i've done any in rogue on screen yet the pigeon flew away All right. Um, 
All right, so apparently that pigeon flew away, but it's still listed right there. So, um, let's go up here first. Let's do a little bit of running around. Since we're here. Grab that. That. Wee. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Get out of the water, Shay. Oh, there's a. Hold on. Let's get the viewpoint that's right here. Four sleep dots, three firecrackers. Here we are once again. Climbing a tower, can't deny it, can't pretend That this shit ain't fun Shit is great, I love it. Oh shoot, I didn't Uh I'm gonna get this viewpoint and then I'm gonna have to step away real quick because I totally forgot to medicate myself so I'm going to go do that. Uh, be right back. Don't go. Anywhere. Sorry, this is your evening reminder to take your medicine if you haven't. Oh. Okay. Drop. Store here. Nah, I'm good. Oh, now this is a fun thing. So at each of, so there are these Templar uh, crosses that you have to find. They're collectibles. Um, you find them by finding stones like this one. And then it points you to a location and then you just go, you know. Pardon me, coming through. Go dig. Dig it out, oh, oh. Dig it on, oh, oh, oh. Right here. Hi guys, don't mind me. You're fine. Oh, there's an interact here. Oi, leave me alone. Fortune's favor. All right, let me quickly write this down. All right, River Valley, 554, slash negative. Nah, uh, eight, nine, nine. Okay. Alrighty. Now, look at this. Now, look at this. Why? Hey, hey, hey. All right, there's a. There it is. All right. Okay. 
And how are we doing? One more chest, one renovation, which I can't do yet. And one assassin. Okay, so let's get the chest. 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 There's a chest. There we go. Now for the interception. button damn it where are you going all right we're ready and willing to do some good work. where's the lift fine this will be my way up You're fine. There we go. We're ready and willing to do some good work, guys. Come on. Where are you at? Where are you? seconds let's go come on <laughs> yep, 
Y'all are fine. It's a minor tussle. We're all sorted here. We're all fine now. Thank well you. Met, sir. Come in, come in. Well met. All right, ammo, bullets, restock. Sleep dart, restock. All right, outfits. All right, doesn't look like there's any outfits I can purchase yet. Nope. All right, so let's buy some pistol sets just because we can. Uh, we're at 7,000. We could buy the Belgian engraved pistols or the privateer cutlass. Ooh. Do we have any? No, we don't have any that we can sell. Ugh. All right. Um, let's go for the privateer cutlass. It's again, it's not going to be what we use because it's a little weak. Uh, where's my? Oh, I don't. That's right. I have to go to my cabin to to nice choose it. Return All right. Actually, we are instead of doing that. We're gonna come over here and then fast travel to this. Ducks. So, just gonna pop in here. All right, make sure I still have the Admiral Lion set equipped. I do. I'm still in the interim coat. I am over here. Sword and dagger. Change it over to. Mm. Let's. We'll do the katana still. All right, now let's. I may not be able to fast travel from in here, but let's try it. I can. Oh nope, unavailable. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll exit the building first. No, I don't want to mess with that. All right, let's go talk to our friend over here. Ah, Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. It's not you. He's at this point, he's still he's aware he's fighting the assassins. <laughs> yeah, too bad he's a villain. Uh, Queen. Too bad he's too bad he's a villain. Um, but yeah, he, he knows he's fighting the assassins at this point, his old bro his old brotherhood, but he, uh, he still doesn't truly believe that it's the people that he grew up, that he trained with, the people he knew, like Liam and, uh, Hope and the like, um, so he's, 
hoping it's not her. Uh, he's hoping that it's just some... A few bad actors type of thing. Alright, we got a stalker nearby. And there she is. I didn't do anything. Walk away, my dudes. You're fine. God, ouch. Well, that could have gone better. All right, I'm starting to recover. That doesn't matter, they're all villains. though there is people there are characters who are objectively good guys the the assassins as a whole are objectively the good guys they are like very definitively the good guys uh provably like we could prove that whereas Shay, at this point, does not realize he's working for the Templars, but he is absolutely working with the Templars. Make it, no, it doesn't make his accent less awesome. That is correct. Hot boys be hot. That is true. There you are. Just gonna pop. Nothing. There was no sniper up on the roof. No, they didn't. <laughs> All right. you a few times fine oh i can loot ammo from you yes please what what sorry right, am i not allowed to loot ammo what the hell okay there's another stalker over here right there Make her go a little bit crazy. And turn on her on her friends.
Uh oh, Shay. Rude, slap me across the face with a sword. All right. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. All right. Dump. All right. Oh, wait. I can loot ammo from you? Cool. Good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Grenade launcher, shrapnel, berserk, or sleep grenades. Go ahead, All right. Master Cormac. Shoot the door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. Alright, so what are my bonus objectives? Kill three guards with a single grenade and put ten guards to sleep. Oh shit, I have a lot of money in the bank that I should pick up when I get the chance. Bum 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 b
bum 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 There we go. I mess with this. Maybe I can break the whole system. Hey, what are you doing here? Ow. Come on, get off the thing. Let him think he's losing us. We'll surprise him soon enough. Keep running. Resistance is not to your best interest. Desist. I see that dumb hole uh. that gets. Come on guys, gather around. Was that Oh, it didn't kill him. Ah. Ow, Jesus. Damn it. Damn it. Damn. Damity, damn, 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 damn.
Okay. Stop that. Shake, get off the table. What? Open the oh you there. Come over here. Don't have the satisfaction of slipping away. Find him again. Where is my there is my Hi guys, let's just Don't mind me, I'm just gonna run away for a second. You get the joy from us, you may be gone. I'm so glad I'll get your dirty nose out of our affairs. I'm not in your affairs, I'm taking a nap in a hay bale. It's fine. Now, 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 now. Refill our ammo. How many? Oh, come on. Give me my. There it is. All right. Kill three guards, single grenade. Put 10 guards to sleep. I need to sleep six more guards. Okay. could do that, but I'm not sure I want to. <clears throat> oh, can't climb that. This is dangerous. See, can I? This is dangerous. Just need to get there. We go. This is dangerous. You there, come over here. Stop this, you fool. How, how am I not anonymous? Anonymous. Oh, hi. You stop. Hold there, you crazy. This is dangerous. All right. 
Are you crazy? Now, where is my dangerous. last one? Over here. Okay. Do 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 Must get out, or I'm as good as dead. Well, I did, so bite me. Marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. North Atlantic, 1757. Everybody loves apples. Except for those who don't. That was the... Oh god, what's it called? The, uh... Manifest thing. Dear Master Cormac, my yes, exactly, Queen, like you. But it is time we were <clears throat> with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause. And this despite, and perhaps because of, your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassins sought has been in my possession manuscript. for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. And so he officially knows that he's been working with the Templars. And it wasn't... It was... It's because he recognized William Johnson and the other guy um, who he just met. He's like, oh, shit, and put the dots together. 
All right, let's pick up the bank. Uh, do we? I don't think I have anything I can upgrade on the ship, do I? Just to check. Nope. All right. All right, let's go take the wheel, shall we? We'll run a captain's trick, shall we? Captain trick the wheel. Find your post, guest. The colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> You will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Yes. I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, uh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal... Homicidal circus! Why didn't you say anything? Well, the colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision-making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of the Colonial Hunt. You might get shame. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis's? Either. Though I suspect the King's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. I know Murphy is in the French King's bed. Now I know you're full That's of a very good question, Queen. The vo Let me look qu quickly look up who the voice of Gist is. Because you're right, it does sound familiar to me. And I'm completely blanking on... Uh, where I've heard the voice before. He's voiced by Richard M. Dumont, Canadian voice director and voice actor. Um, Uh, let me look what it, on, on his IMDb page. I'll go ahead and send you the uh, his IMDB page because I'm not seeing anything right off the bat that sounds familiar. Sorry, let's get back to it. <laughs> Alright, where is it we're going, by the way? Oh, we're going to River Valley. Got it. 
That's all right, Queen. I don't mind. Uh, it's been in the back of my mind while playing, and I just keep forgetting to look him up. Excuse me. All right, now it wants me to go up here. So what's my closest quick travel point? Uh, looks like here. Honor and loyalty. Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncada. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncada. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe... I can finally repay my debt to him. Don't take any damage. Huh. 
Okay, so I still have not taken any damage. Okay. Damn it, I took damage. Damn it. All right. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Not too late. Above me, no. Oh, -ho. I'm up here. I see you up there. You over there too. Come on, there you go.
Hastavun. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. If you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn, frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your honor. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have been with many great forces. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid. Would you say? Perhaps. Take cover! Keep together, men! I'll take out as many as I can. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around slowly. Just to double check. Just don't get detected. been detected? No. Okay. Five more. How do I want to do this? Hold on. Let me loot ammo from this guy. What if I just do this? He's not being directly watched, but still better safe than sorry. One. Or five, actually. Six. How close? Not very.
Damn it, Shade. Go up the mountain, dude. There we go. Shit, that was a detection. That was a detection. Because for whatever reason, it wouldn't let me trigger... It wouldn't let me target both of them. Alright. Try this again. Oh, shoot. Hi. Jumped right over this fucker. One. Two. Loots. No, put that down. Oh, wrong, wrong place. Damn it. That's detected. <sighs> okay. Let's try this again. One. Loot. Two. Five. Mm. Okay, I can't do it because I'm climbing. Okay, fine. Now, now, can I do this now? Yes. Seven, eight. Nine. Segawasa will not relent to Segawasa. You know this man, Master Homer. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You 
You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survive French cannons, we will survive this. Follow me. Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Say! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. Do not take any damage. Check. Do not get detected. Check. All right, I will go back there later. Okay, it wants me to meet over here. Uh, do I have any fast travel spots near there? I do not. Well, long way it is. Oh, Billy Riley. Oh, Billy Riley, what's up? Oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Come on. Didn't even have to board the ship. I love the puckle gun. Uh, 
Uh, now nah, we'll salvage. Uh, hold on just a second. There we go. Sorry. Just had to check something. Alright, now then. Am I heading the correct direction? I am not. I need to head north. Which is... Oh, do I have enough to be able to upgrade? Bully in the alley, way, hey, hey, bully in the alley. Yeah, I do have some upgrades. Let's go do some upgrading real quick. <sighs> do it while I got it. All right, what we got? Um. Um. Wood, 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 wood. Just a bunch of wood stuff. Um. No, because it's wood, I'm going to hold off. Because wood I need for renovations, too. So I'll hold off because of renovations. Captain has the wheel. All right. I heard the old man say... Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Tomorrow you will get your pay. And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. The voyage is long and the winds don't blow. It's time for us to leave her. Two renovations and some other stuff here. Okay. I have a Templar map which links to this location. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Bully in the alleyway, hey, bully in the alley. Armor and sword. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half drowned. I did not know who you were, but what you were was obvious. Because of the brought you hidden to blades for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel. A manuscript. Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, yeah. sir. I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. You might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat the, um... Segawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. Okay, to um. So the Finnegans, who the the couple that nursed Shea back to life. Their son was a Templar and most likely was killed by an assassin, which is why they were a little stiff with him when he woke up. But also, it does speak to their kindness as people that they did take care of him. Um... But, it, uh, it does also... Um... 
it means a great much more the fact that he's wearing their son's coat. But would you happen to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you then. Bully and me. My own luck. I make my own luck. There's a certain control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Keisegawase. Keisegawase has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster. <sighs> Excuse me. Call it all sail. Crowd on every inch of sail. Call in the studs in. Hold them in. Get off the way! I leave her in your hand, Mr. Gist. Yeah. Help the British. Oh, right. Tonight, tonight we drink to the king's health. To the king Such a and victory his requires more rations. We better not run out of ale. Tonight. Our might is unchallenged. This whole continent is ours to take. Now, nah. breath. Let us celebrate this resounding victory. Victory. How am I? Oh, ship is under fire, technically. I am technically under attack. Okay, that makes some sense. Why I just desynced. There we go. That makes a bit more sense. I was so confused. God, look at that sky. Ooh. Games are great, aren't they? He says as he then proceeds to glitch and fall back down after climbing up. Games are gorgeous, aren't they? Let's have a word. 
Nope, 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 nope. Stop right! So long as we hold the old woman hostage, these Ornado will not help the English. for strays. Venerable one. My name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It Good game, I Among Us. Thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. 
It tells of how the land under our feet was born, and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our lands. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me, venerable one. It is you who honor us, Shea Patrick Cormac. Farewell. Various native pillars around the world, one of which we've already completed. All right, let's get this viewpoint. Ye old viewpoint. Excuse me. All right. Now, um, where does it want me to go? Oh, it wants me to go back here. Okay. Well, then I will travel to Albany and then sail around. Ugh. Okay. Hello. Excuse me. Damn the devil! What happened here? Isigawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads! Make haste! <laughs> I will indeed, loot ammo. Alright. Did I have a bonus? Stay out of combat, okay. Yeah. 
Chum, no chum here. guns to my advantage. Well, oops. Okay, puckle guns, puckle guns, puckle guns. Gotta find me some puckle guns. Puckle the puckles. There they are, there's the puckle guns. This is Kasegawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. The smirk. Were you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Kill him with a puckle gun, okay. Come on, give me a puckle. There's a puckle. Don't need to. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. Release. The colonel was heading for the dock. A huge man with an axe was chasing the colonel. Uh... 
bank is full. How dare. manuscript an assassin took it Liam I'll get it back I swear it Shay Back in New York. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Hello, Haytham Kenway. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. Because Melanie took over after Olivier uh, was murdered in Chicago. <sighs> I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Lawrence Washington, James Wardrip, Samuel Smith, George Monroe, William Johnson, Christopher Gist, Shay, Achilles Davenport, Kasigo Wase, Hope, Liam, Adewale, Le Chasse. How are we looking over here? If 
you work hard for me, I will reward you appropriately. I hope so. Anyway, all right. Up to Melanie's office we go. I'm assuming I don't have anything more I can hack at the moment. I can't get in there yet. Okay, so yeah. No. All right. Take the elevator to the 15th floor. Go on. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. No, I'm just a numbskull. Meet Melanie LeMay at her office. 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 Let's see how different her office is, how different her decoration is from Olivier. Uh, books, bunch of books. Okay. She still has the swords and weapons on display that he uh, that Olivier had. Oh, she has a picture of Olivier. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level 2 security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. It's a frigid looking winter. It was a nice summer when we were here in Assassin's Creed 4, but now it's a frigid winter. Look at that. Alright, any collectibles in here? Treats? Sneakers? No? Okay. The servers for friend, Mr. Berg. Working on it. Don't you want to know what happens next? I'm working on it, Violet. Jesus. It only moves so fast. All right, let's check in here. Wow, they left this ma bathroom a fucking mess. All right, there's level three. Oh my god, Violet! I'm on it! Chill! Okay. Okay. There we go. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins. <coughs> Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars Lyle. made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, 
Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's Brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agate out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar Order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grand Prix, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. <clears throat> Which we've seen. I've got your animus ready and waiting. All right. Oopsie doodle. Upsie doodle, not oopsie doodle, upsie doodle. All right, double check in here that they didn't drop anything of note. Actually, I should check downstairs again, just to be sure that there wasn't something left in the server room. Because <coughs> I did forget to check. <coughs> Aha, good thing I did. All right. All right, can't go through there yet. How many tablets did it say I had? Uh, uh, my files. I hear it. Ah. I'm halfway with the tablets. And I'm about to be halfway with the computers. After I run around with my security clearance level 2. And do some poking. Pokey pokey poking. Poke 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 poke. poke. Alright. There we go. The first civilization entity known as Juno reemerged from the Grand Temple in New York in December 2012. Although no longer a corporeal being, she exists as a kind of digital consciousness somewhere in the Abstergo cloud. To accomplish her goals in the real world, Juno uses two types of people. The first is another precursor consciousness that emerges in a human being at random. This person is commonly known as a sage. Juno also holds sway over a group of disciples called the Instruments of the First Will, who believe it is humanity's natural role to serve the first civilization. Abstergo is currently using the First Will as a cheap and hands-off way of acquiring pieces of Eden and other relics. However, I suspect that the reverse is also true, that they are using our resources to locate objects that will help them further their own goals. I do not trust them, but for now, all I can do is have da Costa monitor their activities. Juno's motives are unclear. Although she has made one attempt to possess a corporeal body, she appears to be more powerful as a digital entity. Agent DaCosta fears that should humanity ever achieve singularity, the fusion of humanity and machines, Juno would become unstoppable. Ironically, it is Abstergo itself which is driving civilization in that direction. Okay. And that's the halfway mark. Now, out of curiosity, can I hack Melanie's computer? Oh wow, poof, she gone. I cannot find anything else to do up here at this point. Does not appear to be. All right, main floor.
lobby. Let's go down to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and know that you are aiding a worthy cause, even if you do not yet know what it is. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and hack ourselves some pewters. All right, now I have level two. That's a level one. That's a level one. Can I go in here now? Um, did I go in here before? I'm bored out of my skull. But orders, okay, no. orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Can't go in there yet. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and hack ourselves some pewters. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the Stand lobby. And hack ourselves some computers. Threes. Okay. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. And hack ourselves some computers. That's one I've already been in. All right, that's a three. I can't wait. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Can't go in there yet. All right, so gotta check far side. Let's all go to the lobby. In I come. There is a two. And heck ourselves some booters. Ooh, hello, somebody left their communicator. Shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Spock here. Happy holidays. Live long and prosper. All right, what we got here? We got a splitter, a refractor, and a transparent. Ooh, you spoil us. All right. Uh. Oh, okay, that works. Don't go to the lobby. Given the nature of our current investigation, I have been looking at other assassins who, despite themselves, have helped the Templar cause. The first is Clay Kazmaris, <coughs> who infiltrated Warren Vidic's Animus Project in Rome. He became the project's Subject 16. Kazmarek's rich ancestry helped Vidic to identify the Renaissance assassin Ezio Auditori as a person of interest. Driven mad by overexposure to the Animus, he committed suicide. However, Kazmarek may have unexpectedly become useful again. While in the Animus, Subject 16 came into contact with the first civilization entity known as Juno. Perhaps studying his bizarre Animus experiences can help us find a way to deal with the looming threat Juno promises. With Subject 16 out of the picture, Vidic needed a replacement. Desmond Miles, a runaway assassin, was captured in September 2012 and was used as Animus Subject 17 to further the search for an Apple of Eden. He managed to escape and uncovered an imminent threat to the planet. 
a solar flare similar to the one that wiped out the precursor race over 75,000 years ago. Desmond Miles also reactivated a first civilization temple in New York and used it to save the world, but it cost him his life. Abstergo recovered his body. In death, Desmond Miles became Sample 17, and his valuable genetic data was uploaded to the cloud servers in order to benefit all branches of Abstergo. Whether they live or die, we must continue to find ways to make the assassins work for us. Hacky, 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 hack. 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 There we go. Sort of. Um. All right. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Just a little fiddly. It is 426 on December 13, 2012. The briefing of Sigma Team's Cairo operation. The briefing conducted by Abstergo psychiatrist Tibor Hashek, level 7, Tibor. and director of operations Leticia England, level 9. State your Leticia. name and rank for the record. Juhani Otto Berg, service number OP114-8506-B, Master Templar. 
How would you classify the result of your Cairo mission, Master Berg? I would call it a complete success. The new Sigma team performed admirably. That's going a bit far, don't you think? The target William Miles was apprehended, and the first Civilization artifact was retrieved. Both were handed off to Warren Vidic without incident. May I ask how you would rate the mission? We're pleased with the results, but not with the methods with which you achieved them. I see. May I ask why? You went off mission. You were supposed to apprehend the target at the airport, not at the museum. When the target emerged from the plane, he was posing as a tour guide for a class of high school students on a field trip. A member of Sigma team informed us you aborted the mission then and there. I will not deny this, but tell me, who talked? I cannot reveal that. No matter, I will find out on my own. Back to business. The target was very smart, but also very sloppy. Explain. The target possessed advanced counter-surveillance techniques, but lacked the skill to implement them properly. The target was trained as an assassin since birth. I am aware. However, it has been many years since he was an active field agent. He must have been very desperate to go himself, as these days he is more of a talker. A puppet master. And what are you? A predator. A predator who defied orders because of the presence of some school guards. I prefer to think of myself as one who can choose the most opportune time to strike. The last time I followed orders to the letter was in Florence. That did not end well for anyone. Was it that? Or did the students perhaps remind you of your daughter? I separate my work and personal life completely. Your daughter's recovery has been remarkable. I do hope her progress continues. Please, don't. I beg your pardon. I find your attempt to threaten my child vulgar and unnecessary. Explain. Abstergo's pharmaceuticals have given my child a chance at a life free from pain. And I have at last found what I believe to be my calling in life. And for that, we expect obedience. For that you have my loyalty. The involvement of the children in Egypt compromised the original mission. Nothing more. We already have one Master Templar that we can barely control. I don't like the idea of having two loose cannons out there. With all due respect to Master Cross, while he is gifted, he is mentally disturbed. We mean no disrespect, but after losing your team in Florence, we felt a need to keep a close eye on you. I achieved all mission objectives, and achieved them without bloodshed. So my only question for you is, am I in command of Sigma Team or not? As you said, the results were impeccable. Then I believe this meeting to be at an end. I request permission to leave. Do you have something more important to do? I am going to find out who among my team talked to you. I will not tolerate that kind of insubordination. I think we can stop here. The briefing ended at 4.34. Transcript to be sent to Alan Rickin for security clearance. All right. Can't go in there yet, I don't think. I will check, though. All right, do we have any loose communicators in here? The three. Okay, so back to the animus. Here we go. Once again, back to the animus. Shit. What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and notch it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. Do 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 Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. <laughs> Air assassinations.
Swine, you should not have left your backwater colony. Well, I'll return to Boston. In Philadelphia, actually. Oh, so he's a comedian too. Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. How? How did you do that? <coughs> it was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shane. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you, to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. <coughs> I need to meet a business acquaintance. 
I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them. That's the thing he just pulled out. Or Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures. Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Lubeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly <clears> of <throat> Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect among us. you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of sea. A normal. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. What kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then? Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Who really knows? Also, there is a thing that I forgot about that I didn't mention. Um, there's this down here, Fort de Saab. Um, it's, I believe it's a DLC thing that I'll do eventually. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. I just heard it. General Wolf will give that Craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. So, um, can I fast travel to that? No, I can't. Okay. We'll probably do that another time. Uh, oh, we're not that far away. Oh, 
I'm gonna just, um, poke a bear real quick. Can we stop with the cutscene? She's a beauty. Man of war. Pull you up. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Fire! On your mark, Captain. Fire! Fire! Stay out of heavy shot range! Fire! Would you guys let me on fucking board? I swear to God. Ow, stop it. Go kill the two scouts. Oh, okay. Well, reload. Ching, 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 ching. Alright, now you are going to get sent to Cormac's fleet. I just remembered that they said the bank was full.
Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormack? Captain <clears throat> James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen. The Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, <laughs> Captain. Pretty sure my ship's stronger, but also, you know, <laughs> main character advantage. The Louisburg, <laughs> 1758. Wolf, Lawrence, and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who is their commander? Major General Amherst himself. Back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Grace! Okay, so it does have mortars. Good. Enemy ahead. There he is. Damn it. We can take ten ships with mortars. Imperatively stop those ships, Captain. The outcome of the war may depend on it. They have help, Captain. Fine. Good use of your own mortars. How am I doing? If Gist is on this ship, then who's in the... Then who's with the Morrigan? Oh, the Experto Creed. On the Wally ship. Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir! It's the Experto Credit! At Wally. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Fire! Down to the 
man. Don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. <laughs> seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrop, too. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Gist, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shay, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Joe. Ah! He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, Gist. Aye, sir. What they don't know is that it's uh, personal for Haytham because Adewale was Edward's, one of Edward's best friends. which means that it's going to be all that'll be it for me um for the night um we'll be back tomorrow with more tomb raider anniversary until then please check out these amazing people i have listed up here i have even more recommendations in the link tree below speaking of the link tree as i said at the top of the stream if you go to the link tree you'll find links to my socials my discord um my uh youtube where you can follow me and check my vods out a week after they air um 
and my Twitch, where if you're watching them on you watching this on YouTube, you can check my Twitch out if you want to see me live when I stream. Um, also in the link tree is a link to my Patreon, where if you uh, would like to, you can support me directly. Um, I had a little bit. I talked a little bit about that at the top of the stream, um, but so I won't say much much more about it right now. But um, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, but in the meantime, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I'll see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.